Hello teachers! Good evening sa inyong lahat! Yes, how are you today? So thank you for uh, watching and I appreciate your questions because that uh, means na interesado kayo sa Ingo. So, uh, magsta-start na akong mag... Uh, sumagot sa mga questions niyo. Well, anyway, again, thank you so much uh, for your support and thank you for trusting me uh, dahil nagbubuk kayo sa akin sa um, demo lessons or the Mac demo lessons. So, I really appreciate it. So, marami na po akong tutors na natutulungan and it just make me feel ano happy and grateful to all the tutors na nakapasa na um, they said na it's really a big help talaga na they are prepared uh, dahil sa ano ko, dahil sa training ko, dahil sa kinandak na training ko at tsaka sa mock demo lesson ko. Kasi pag, pag schedule nyo na sa training ng Ingo, they just give you um, konting oras lang to prepare. So, kaya uh, I decided to have a training and mock demo lesson para talaga ma fully uh, fully equipped and fully prepared talaga yung um, yung tutors to have their actual demo lesson. So I'm very happy to all my trainees na nakapasa. If you are watching, um, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Uh, hindi rin naman ako magiging effective na trainer or effective na coach if hindi nyo rin in-apply yung mga um, sinabi ko or mga best practices ko or yung mga tips na binibigay ko sa inyo. And again, as what I've said, um, itong training and mock demo lesson, this is a teamwork. I gave you information and you as a tutor, you, you need to apply, um, you need also to learn. You need to be willing to learn and be open-minded, okay? And then, doon sa mga first-timers and beginners na kakasimula pa lang mag-online teaching, uh, don't worry, kasi ako, galing din ako, um, ganyan din yung na-feel ko noon. Like, I'm very nervous, I'm very, scared, uh, I'm very scared kapag ano na, parating na, or my schedule sa training is already fast approaching so talagang kinakabahan ako and yes ganyan din ako before but don't worry dahil dito um dahil sa training natin and mock demo lesson natin magiging prepared ka okay so now um let us start i will answer your questions at saka Sasagutin din natin yung question before sa live natin na hindi ko nasagot kasi kapag meron kayong mga tanong na hindi ko nasagot dahil hindi ako sure sa anong sagot. So, I will need to take a picture dyan and then I will ask the Ingo um, company or the Ingo support team kung ano yung sagot para ma-share ko din sa inyo. Kasi ayoko naman magbigay ng mga false information. Uh, or any information na mali naman pala. Okay? So, let's start with the first question. Kay teacher, um, Primera Klase. Hi, teach. Mahirap po ba yung video test sa Ingo? So, yung video test sa Ingo is you need to answer two questions. Um, first is you need to define a word. One word lang. And yung second question is um, a phrase or an idiomatic expression and you need to explain that one. So my tip for that is you need to answer it in a simple, ano lang, in a simpler way. Kasi yan din yung tip na binigay sa akin nung yung trainee ko na nakapasa. Sabi ko, kasi sa amin before, to be honest, ha, wala kasing ganyan eh. Like, um, an, na, na hire ako sa Ingo nung time na meron pang interview. Pero ngayon kasi, wala ng interview sa Ingo eh. They only, uh, they just conduct English test or yung video test. Sa amin before, walang ganun. So, I asked my trainees, ano bang meron sa video test? Mahirap ba? Or ano bang ano dapat natin gawin para yung mga bago pa lang mag-a-apply, 
eh, meron na silang idea kung ano. So, sabi niya, sabi nila na it's just one word and the second um, question is an idiomatic expression. And ang tip lang doon is you need to simplify your words in explaining or use simple words in explaining or in defining um, the word. So, parang kumbaga nag-e-explain ka dun sa mga bata. So, use simple words. Yun lang talaga. And then, pronounce, um, clear pronunciation, neutral accent. Okay? Yun lang. So, next is teacher. Ah, by the way, sa English test, you only need to prepare 10 seconds. And then, after 10 seconds, um, mag-automatic recording na yung ano yung video. So, it means you start answering na. And I think one minute lang siguro or yeah, one minute lang and then if hindi ka sure sa sagot mo, you can redo or you can re-record. Meaning, hindi ka muna magsasubmit, you can redo or you can um, answer again kapag hindi ka sure sa sagot mo nung first. Okay? So, just be prepared. <laughs> Okay. And then, um, next question, Teacher Jihan. Uh, Teach Jill, may mga sample videos ba na ibibigay ang Ingo on how to conduct lessons? Hindi ako sure kung meron silang sample videos na ibibigay during the training. Kasi before sa amin, wala silang binigay na sample videos. And sa trainees ko naman ngayon, hindi naman nila, um, hindi naman sila nag-share kung Kung meron bang mga demo videos or meron bang pinapakita yung Ingo on how to conduct lessons. But sa aking training and sa aking mock demo lesson, meron akong ibibigay na sample or kumbaga um, a video on so that you will know on how the demo lesson looks like. So, ganon. Okay. Next is si Teacher Redeline. Hi po, may actual student po ba mismo sa demo or staff ng Ingo po? Um, it's, a, it's a Japanese evaluator. So, hindi po sila student. They are acting like a student. Um, there are two demo lessons kasi. And for me, sa amin before, isang demo lang. Pero ngayon, dalawang demo lesson na yung dapat... Um, you need to pass. So, yung first demo lesson na uh, with material, mostly Japanese talaga. Japanese evaluator. So, they are acting like a student. And depende na sa kanila kung anong gusto nila. Like, they are, they will be acting like a kid or a junior high school or a, or a, or an adult. So, depende yan sa kanila. And depende rin kung um, they will conduct the 25 minute talaga na lesson or they will cut you out. So again, depende yun sa kanila. But on the second demo lesson, which is the free talk or free conversation, yun yung ano, meron ng mga Filipino or meron ng mga Pinoy na evaluator. So it really depends kung saan ka, kung sino yung magiging evaluator mo. Okay? So, next is si Teacher Shar. Um, Wednesday na po demo lesson ko. Every Friday lang po ikaw pwede. Wednesday. So, that will be next week, 17. Uh, you can join our, ano, Tuesday. Tuesday group class. Kasi ang schedule ko, uh, yung group class is Tuesday and Thursday. Every week. Tuesday and Thursday. So, yung group class ko, I can only handle 10 slots or 10 teachers para hindi uh, para to maintain the high quality of training kasi kapag marami na um, hindi na magiging ano yun, effective so I just maintained at least 10 10 slots or 10 teachers each group class so I think meron pang vacant sa 16 did you check the booking form um, meron tayong 16 if your, if your training schedule is on Wednesday, 17. So, you can try to join the group class on June 16. Okay? And then, uh, yung special class pala, that will be every Friday. 
there is no Saturday na. But yung nakabook before na Saturday, okay pa rin yun. I will continue that. But yung booking form na uh, shinare ko ngayon is wala na yung Saturday. All is Friday na. But then again, I conduct special class Friday whole day. Okay? That will be starting next week. And then, next is teacher, uh, future teacher. Wait lang. Required po ba ang LAN connection or pwede na Wi-Fi muna since the SL naman yung connection namin? Um, mm, kasi they will need your ano eh, speed test. And then, malalaman dun yung ano, IP address ba yun or serial number. Uh, nung kasing ano, I think pwede, sa, sa speed test kasi, hindi naman nila malalaman kung naka, ano, ka, kung naka LAN connection ka or hindi. But then, they will ask kasi a screenshot of your desktop na dapat na, makikita yung toolbar. Yung toolbar natin sa desktop or sa laptop, di ba makikita dun kung naka wifi ka ba or naka naka LAN connection kasi yung Wi-Fi merong mga bars pero yung LAN connection para siyang PC so Ingo will ask um, that screenshot and then you need to provide so if wala ka nun, um siguro hindi talaga <laughs> accepted yon so kasi they really accept ano post paid with LAN connection yung talagang internet bundle na may telephone modem and LAN connection. If it's prepaid, hindi rin allowed yung prepaid. Um, kasi, ganun lang. Yun lang yung ano nila, requirements nila. So, next is Teacher Bex. Walang sample videos during the training. Ay, ganun. Oo, wala. Ay, so sad. So, yan. Walang sample videos during the training. Si Teacher Bex, I think nakaano na to eh. <laughs> Hello, Teacher Bex. Okay, next is si Teacher Redeline Pantila. Um, accepted po ba ang Converge for the internet connection? Ako hindi ako familiar kasi sa Converge eh, Pero I will ask the Ingo ha. Marami na ang nagtatanong sa akin yan. So I need to confirm to them if they will accept. So I will, ano, pipicturean ko lang yung question mo para matanong ko sa kanila. And I will get back on the next live or ipopost ko sa group uh, Facebook page natin yung sagot once I have the answer. Okay? Kasi hindi ako familiar sa Converge if they will accept it or not. But for sure, they will accept. Pero hindi talaga ako sure ko anong process nila kapag Converge. Kasi PLDT yung gamit ko. So I will get back to you, teacher, how once I have an answer from the Ingo support team. Okay, next si teacher Con. Good if teach. Um, share ko po baka makatulong. Update sa language test. First question is about yourself. Yung second po is yung idiom or word. Pag mag-redo, mapapalitan po yung question. Ay, as in, nagbago na pala. Oo, yung Ingo kasi pabago-bago sila ng ano. Yun, recently nga, yung tutor's dashboard or yung tutor's website namin, nabago rin siya. I think last Wednesday, may pagbabago. So, siguro binago rin nila yung, ano, yung video test nila. So, yes, thank you, Teacher Con, for, um, for letting us know. So, yun nga pala, first question is about yourself. Oh, that's good. Kasi about yourself, at least kilala mo yun ang sarili mo. You just need to prepare or draft, write a draft about yourself. And then second is yung idiom or word. Mm, yung idiom, mahirap to eh. <laughs> ako ewan ko ako makakapasa ako nito kung ganito yung um, application steps before. Pag mag do mapapalitan yung question. Oh, ganun. But okay lang yan. Think positive teachers. Huwag kayong mag-quit. Hindi, hindi nyo pa nga na-try, di ba? So, try nyo muna. We don't know. Just pray. <laughs> okay, next is si Teacher Shar. Special class po sana gusto ko, pero consider ko din po. Thank you. Ah, special class para gusto mo. Ah, okay. Nag-PM ka na ba? 
kasi teachers, I also considered, nagkakonduct din ako ng special class kahit hindi Fridays. Pero it's a case-to-case basis. Gaya kanina, may nag-PM sa akin sa Skype. Um, teach, training ko na bukas. Hindi ako nakapag-book kasi close yung booking form mo. So, can you please help me? Ganun. So, ano talaga eh? Maawa talaga kasi ako eh. Kasi ayoko namang mag... Um, mag-training siya bukas sa Ingo na parang hindi prepared. And take note, first timer siya. So, parang makoconsent siya naman ako kapag hindi ko to ini-entertain. In- in- so, um, Teach Char, please PM me. Um, I am updating my Facebook page um, right now. So, later, I will reply to all of you. Okay? So, meron na nga akong nire-reply yan iba eh, Pero hindi pa talaga lahat. Kasi, gaya ng sinabi ko, ang dami nyo talaga. So, please be patient. Teacher Sharp, please PM me later ha sa Facebook page ko. Okay? Um, kasi, nagkakandak ako ng special class case-to-case basis. If it's really urgent. Okay, next is Teacher Maria. Teach, ilang tries meron dun sa exam? Sa ibang ESL kasi may 10 chances ka dun sa exam in case di na ipasa. Sa Ingo, once lang. As far as I know ha, pero kung meron sa inyo may alam dyan, please comment kayo. As far as I've known, um, once lang talaga. Kapag, uh, di ba, una registration, then video test, or yung English test, then internet connection test, and then you're done. Then you will need to wait for th- um, one to two days. Yung iba, 24 hours lang, may reply na. Yung iba naman, up to a week talaga. So, they will send you an email. Um, it's either you failed or pass. So, if you failed, you can come back six months after. But if you pass, then you can continue with the application. So, sa video test, I think once lang talaga. Okay. So, next, teacher Jihan. Um, sabi po sa email nila, ay Zoom yung training and magsisilbing attendance ang screenshot ng speed test. Ask ko lang po saan isisend. Doon sa email or doon mismo sa chat ng Zoom po. Ano yung instruction nila dito? Mm, yung sa amin kasi before Skype yung gamit namin eh. Wala pang Zoom noon. Ay Zoom yung training and magsisilbing attendance ang screenshot ng speed test. Ask ko lang po. I think doon sa email... Kasi take no teachers, you need to send the email 30 minutes. Uh, you need to send the speed test 30 minutes before before yung training schedule nyo. Okay? And uh, please remember to click the link sa Zoom um, 30 minutes before sa scheduled training nyo. Kasi if you will click on the link sa Zoom or if you will go inside the Zoom mga 8.50, kunwari 9.00. 9 in the morning is your training schedule. So, if you will go in the Zoom or if you will click in the Zoom mga 8.55 or 8.45, the trainer will kick you out. So, you need to be early. You need to click on the link sa Zoom 30 minutes talaga before sa training schedule nyo para hindi kayo ikikick out ng trainer nyo. Okay? But then, yung sa speed test, I think dun po yan sa email. You reply on the email. Pag hindi sila nag-reply um, sa email mo, then you can send it in the Zoom. But then again, um, I will ask them kung saan. Kasi minsan talaga yung ano nila, yung yung email nila nakakalito eh, sa dami ng instructions. So I need to take a picture dito para i-ask ko sila, Okay. So, thank you, Teacher Jihan, for your question. Next is... Um, okay. Hindi pa naglo-load yung question dito. Si Teacher Jihan pa lang last. Anyway, I will answer na lang uh, mga yung questions last live natin. Kasi nagtanong na ako sa, ano, sa Ingo... And then, dun pala sa penalties, yung kapag brown out or if it's, ano, kunwari walang kuryente, kunwari, um, 
um, merong internet connection na mga difficulties or walang internet connection. So, and then meron kang reserve na slot or reserve na class. So, you just need to have a proof. For example, sa, sa internet provider nyo, PLDT. So, you will just need to have an incident report para isend nyo sa Ingo para wala kayong penalty. Again, hindi kayo paid sa class na yun kasi of course, hindi nyo naman um, kinandak yung class kasi nga wala kayong internet. Pero, wala kayong penalty kasi uh, you provided a proof na wala talagang kuryente. Okay? Or wala talagang internet. Kasi yun yung ginagawa ko rin eh. Um, if ever walang kuryente or walang internet connection, so I will be asking an incident report sa internet provider ko and sa um, electrical company namin dito sa lugar namin. So just an incident report. Okay? So, yun lang. Anyway, teachers, do you still have questions? Uh, si Teacher Rose Ann, so sinen po sa akin na email, ang instruction sa email nila is send ang screenshot for, of speed test for confirmation of attendance. Oh, so dapat sa email talaga send yung um, screenshot ng speed test for confirmation sa attendance. Kasi kapag, so meaning, if hindi ka magsisend nun, meaning you are not part of the training for tomorrow or for later. Mm. Yes. Okay, so then again, um, you really need to read your email kung ano yung mga instructions. Pero minsan talaga nakakalito yung instructions nila. Okay, so thank you, Teacher Rose. Okay, next. Doon sa mga magtatanong ha, how to apply... Um, meron akong video na ginawa sa, dito sa YouTube channel ko. So, please watch that one. Um, andun yung requirements, andun yung mga step-by-step -step application process. So, if you think you are ready, if you think kompleto na yung mga requirements nyo, then yes, you can start um, applying na. Okay? I already include there also the link kung saan kayo pwede mag-apply. Yung website ng Ingo. Okay? So, next teacher ko, sa experience ko po, may video lang ng Mountain with Music at tinanong lang kung, kung nakikita yung video at narinig yung music. Yan yung internet and connection, internet and connection test. Uh, kapag tinatanong ka na may video, can you see the video? or And then next is, can you hear the sound? So, yun yung Internet and connection test. That is after the video test or the English test. Kasi tatlo yan eh. First is the registration. Second is the video test or yung tinatawag na English test. And after that, the third one is yung video and um, internet connection test. Yung video test, tinitest nila kung makikita mo ba yung, um, yung video na flinash sa screen and then yung ano ititas din nila yung mic if you can hear as the sound or if you can hear if you say something dito sa ano sa mic maririnig mo ba parang ganun yun yung internet and connection test so sa language test naman po naka-unly redo ako kasi minsan lagi yung na record na videos kaso pag nagredo mapapalitan po yung question yun nga oo mapapalitan thank you teacher con for confirming and for sharing something on your experience salamat po so nakakaano talaga yung ibang teachers no they share about their experience so ano lang nakakataba ng puso kasi nagtutulungan talaga tayo dito so again um, iba't iba kasi talaga tayo ng experience eh. Kasi yung Ingo, nag-iiba-iba din yung ano nila, qualifications, yung mga exams nila. Kasi merong mga exams na naabutan ko, tas hindi nyo naabutan. Parang ganun. Kasi I started 2016 eh. So parang ang layo ng gap. <laughs> okay. Next, si Teacher Rose. Good eve po. Kaka-join ko lang po sa live nyo. Ask ko lang po kung pwede po ba LTM modem wifi. Pero nakalan, okay lang po ba? Um, yung LTE modem Wi-Fi, 
kahit pa may land connection, teach hindi po siya pwede kasi malalaman sa speed test result eh. If you notice, when you conduct your speed test, meron siyang parang serial number dun sa, ano, kunwari yung LTA modem or is smart. Or, yeah, ipalagay lang natin smart. Sa baba kasi meron siyang serial number or madidetect dun kung um, naka-postpaid ka ba or naka-prepaid ka lang. So, much better talaga na naka-postpaid ka. Kasi even, even if meron kang LAN connection, hindi pa rin yun pwede. Okay, so next is si Teacher John Carlo. Teach, bakit ang tagal pa ng available slot ng training? Sa Ingo? Um, kasi maraming nag-a-apply. <laughs> kasi, kasi maraming gustong makapasok sa Ingo. And yes, chinek ko nga later, uh, uh, earlier, chinek ko, ano pa yung available schedule nila? Like July 3rd week. July 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, July 10, pataas, parang fully booked na yung Ingo. So, ganun po ka... Ganun po karaming tutors na gusto makapasok sa Ingo. Kasi nga, hindi ito kagaya ng ibang ESL company. Well, anyway, hindi ko naman kayo dinidiscourage ha. Iba't iba naman tayo ng preferences. Pero kasi ako, ang na-experience ko sa ibang ESL is that um, nagmo-monitor talaga sila sa kanilang mga... Ano, sa kanilang mga members or tutors. Kunwari, meron kang team lead, meron kang coach, meron kang trainer... Kapag meron kang cancelled classes, itcha-chat ka agad. What happened? Anong nangyari dito? Ba't ka ganyan? Blah, blah, blah. Kapag may negative review yung student, itcha-chat ka agad. Bakit ganito? Blah, blah, blah. Bakit yung time slot mo? Ganito ka lang nag-open. Two hours lang, three hours lang. Ayoko kasi ng ganun eh. Ayoko, um, I don't want someone will hold my time. Gusto ko, ako yung nag... Ako yung nagko-control sa time ko. Ayun kung pressure ako. Gusto kong ganun. And dito kasi sa Ingo, ganyan kasi, parang ikaw bahala kung ilang slots ang i-open mo dyan. Uh, walang magdidikta sa'yo. Parang ganun. So, gan yun yung, ano, yun yung nagustuhan ko dito sa Ingo. So, you can open slots as much as you can or as many as you can. And if there is cancelled classes, kapag one lang, um, hindi, naman ka, hindi ka naman nila sisitahe na, oy bakit ganito, blah, blah, blah. Siguro kapag ano na, naka-five cancelled classes ka na, yun na yung parang, ay, anong nangyari dito? Parang ganon. Pero hindi talaga sila super strict, kagaya ng ibang ESL. Okay, next is, sana ba ako? Okay, si Teach Paula Katrina. Teach, can you give us tips po para makapasa sa language test? Hmm. Okay. Yung sa language test, although hindi ko na-experience yun ha, pero na-experience yun ng mga trainees ko and, they, and I'm asking them kung ano yung mga best practices, ano ba yung technique, ganun. So they told me, um, you need to answer it in a simple words lang. Yung mga hindi complicated na mga words or yung, mga hin yung hindi jargon na words. Jargon means mahihirap na salita. So, you use simple words. And then, straight to the point, brief, ano lang, brief um, explanation lang. Huwag na, yung, ano, huwag na yung lalayo ka pa sa idea or yung idea mo is pa, pa parang... Ano lang, circling lang yung idea mo or running around the bush. Or parang, ano lang, paikot-ikot lang yung idea mo na naisagot. So, straight to the point, brief explanation. And then, yun, thank you. That's all, thank you. Parang so, nagsasagot ka na parang Miss Universe, kumbaga ganun. So, so, sa mga teachers na nanonood dyan, na meron ng experience, you can also comment your best practices or you can also share your, ano ha, your best tips para sa ating mga, ano, mga bago pa lang na, na mga tutors na mag apply Tulungan tayo dito, teachers, okay? So, for me, yun lang. Use simple words. Huwag kayong mag-complicate. And make sure, before you do the language test, make sure yung background nyo is um, 
plain background. Again, it's not necessary na white as long as plain lang. And then yung environment nyo, make sure na hindi siya ano, quiet environment talaga. Yung walang barking of dogs, walang chicken sound, walang mga vehicles na dumadaan. Yung quiet talaga. Kasi isa rin yun sa factor na i-consider ng Ingo while watching your recording videos. Okay? And then smile. Um, TPR or hand gestures, body movements. So, ibigay nyo na yung best nyo during the English and video test. Okay? Next is um, teacher eyes. Um, after po ba ng training at demo, sasabihin na po agad kung pasado kayo? Yes. So, on that day, during your training, malalaman nyo agad if you pass or failed. So, again, there are two demo lessons, one with materials and one with free talk lang or free conversation. So, you need to pass the two demo lessons. If ever you failed one demo lesson and you pass the other demo lesson, you need to do retraining. Meaning, magbubook ka ulit, mag-a-attend ka ulit ng training, um, gagawin mo ulit yung demo lesson. So, ganun. Retraining. But, if you fail the two demo lesson, you need to come back after six months na. Kasi na-failed ka sa dalawa eh. So, mas better na siguro yung retraining kaysa sa failed talaga, di ba? Pero, of course, let's aim for pass. Yung pass talaga. Yung may email yung Ingo na, Congratulations! You pass! You are our newly hired teacher. So, ang sarap sa feeling nun. Meron nga akong teacher or yung trainee ko, um, she sent me the email na merong, Congratulations! Blah, blah, blah. So, I'm so happy, teach. Thank you so much. So, of course, if you're happy, I'm I'm way more happy than you. Kasi feeling ko effective yung training ko, effective yung pagko-coach ko sa inyo. And also, it's a great teamwork. Kasi nagtutulungan tayo, di ba? So, yun. Next is, Teacher Redeline, anong oras po usual yung classes? Um, hindi ako sure, pero yung training kasi, four to five hours yung training. But, that already includes the ano na the demo lesson or yung actual demo lesson nyo. Usually, mga 12 noon or mga 2 p.m. Ganon, yung actual demo lesson. And usually, magsta-start yung training at 9 in the morning. Pero depende pa rin ha, you need to read your email kung ano yung instructions na binibigay sa inyo sa Ingo. Okay? Next is teacher Alec. Teach kung marami na pong nag-a-apply at marami na pong teachers. Marami pa rin po bang students? Hindi po kami mazi-zero. Ako so far sa sa experience ko, kasi di ba ang tagal ko na dito, tas marami ng teachers nag-a-apply. So far, hindi talaga ako nazi-zero. And fully booked pa nga eh, di ba? And sa mga feedback naman sa mga teachers ko na, or sa mga trainees ko na nakapasok, kasi even if nakapasok na kayo, I still ask for an update. Like, kumusta yung bookings nyo? Okay lang ba kayo? Wala bang problema? Tanungin nyo lang ako if meron kayong question. So, hindi po ibig sabihin na um, if we're done, our, if we are done with our training, bahala na kayo sa buhay nyo. Hindi po ako ganyan. So, I still make follow-up. If you have questions, sinasagot pa rin sinasagot ko pa rin kayo. So, kasi nga, di ba, community tayo dito, nagtutulungan. So, para dito, yung mga trainees ko, sinasabi nila na, oo nga, teach no, maraming students, hindi ka talaga mazi-zero. Day one ko ngayon, teach fully booked ako. So, ganun, yun yung mga feedback nila. And then, yes, I'm so, I'm super happy for them. Kasi nga, they, meron kasi na silang experience din sa ibang ESL na um, parang mahina na yung students, wala nang matumal yung students, walang nagbubuk. So, dito sa Ingo, um, ano talaga, based on my experience, hindi, ta hindi ka talaga mazi-zero dito. Okay? Next is si Teacher Joseph. Hello po, ask ko lang po kung hiring pa rin ang Ingo kasi I saw a post na July pa yata sila mag-hire ulit. Hiring pa po sila until now. Yes, until now. 
Uh, saan mo ba yan nakikita yung post na July pa? Siguro yung nakikita mong post na July pa is July pa yung available na training slots. Kasi nakikita ko din kanina na yung training slot na available ng Ingo is July third week pa. So meaning, if you pass the video test or English test, Diba, magsisend sila sa'yo ng email na book a training with or with with demo lesson. So, if you book, meaning yung available na slots is July pa. Kasi fully book na sila sa mga June last week, July first week to second week. So, yes, they are still hiring but the available slots para sa training nila is July pa. Okay? So, I hope that is clear. Next is Teacher Redlin. Mga ilang days po after magpasa ng application bago masked ka para sa language test. Hmm. Hindi, Teach. Ganito yung application. Um, you need to register. After registration, you will be routed to the page kung saan yung language test or video test. After the video test, mararoute ka sa page na internet test or internet connection test. And after that one, you completed the first um, the first and second step. So after that one, you need to wait for the email if you pass the language test or not. Okay? Ganon yun. <laughs> okay, next, teacher con. Anong, ma anong material po usually ginagamit sa demo with material? Um, maraming materials ang Ingo, but... I am 100% sure na madali lang talaga. As in, kahit pang adult yung materials, um, madali lang talaga siyang intindihin. So, para siyang pang elementary. <laughs> yes, pang elementary materials lang. Usually, ang material na ginagamit nila is yung um, ano lang. Um, ano ba yun? Original materials. Meaning, um, andun yung title ng lesson and then vocabulary, listen and repeat lang sa mga words, meaning then sentences. And then after that is article. You need to read an article. You, you need to let the student read an article. And then after the article is question and answer. There are questions na nakabased sa article. Then that student needs to answer that. To make sure if he understand um, the article. So, ganun lang. Very easy. So, don't worry. <laughs> okay, next, Teacher Rich. Pwede po bang ipagsabay sa ibang ESL company ang Ingo? Oh, no, Teach. Do not. <laughs> uh, wag nyong, ano, wag nyong sabihin. Or, ewan ko, uh, masama din naman kasi maglay, di ba? Pero, Sa Ingo kasi hindi pwede na connected ka sa ibang ESL company. So now, it is your discretion to um, to divulge something na you are connected with other company or not. Discretion mo na yan. Basta I'm giving you information na hindi po pwede kapag connected sa ibang ESL company. But if you are connected with the other companies tulad ng um, kunwari nursing ka, magpa part-time ka lang ng Ingo, that's okay. Any other company na hindi ESL, that is okay. But if it's ESL, that is not okay. Okay? <laughs> I hope that is clear. Okay, next is uh, SJTP. Hello po, nakapasa na po kasi ako sa isang ESL company and may training po ako sa Ingo. Paano po mag-cancel and mag-delete ng account? Nakapasa na po ako sa isang ASL company. May training po ako sa Ingo. Paano po mag-cancel and mag-delete ng account? Ano po, Teach? Hindi ko naiintindihan, Teach. <laughs> Anong account, Teach? Anong account yung... Mean... What do you mean with the account dito sa sagot mo? So, clarify lang, Teach, ha? Please, hindi ko naiintindihan. <laughs> Nakapasa na po ako sa isang ESL and may training po ako sa Ingo. Paano po mag-cancel and mag-delete ng account? Teach, pwede clarify <laughs> Teach, ready lin. Noted, teach. Okay, thank you. 
So, ano pa ba? Account po sa Ingo Teach. So, your question is, nakapasa ka na sa ibang ESL company and may training ka sa Ingo. Paano mag-cancel and mag-delete ng account sa Ingo? So, meaning, i-back out mo or mag i-withdraw mo yung application mo sa Ingo? Is that what you mean, Teach? Uh, Rich Cat. Okay, thank you po. May nagsasabi kasi na pwede daw po. Medyo misleading. Thanks for the info po. You're welcome. Teacher Ernest, what makes Ingo different from other company in terms of booking system? Um, ako na-try ko yung ibang ESL company. Hindi ko lang i-mention ha kasi baka, oh my God, mabash ako nito. <laughs> um, ano... May matumal yung ibang company dito sa Ingo kahit day one ka pa lang or kahit, yeah, day one mo pa lang sa Ingo, kakapasok mo pa lang, kakastart up pa lang ng account mo. Um, marami na talaga siya. Like, kagaya nung um, trainee ko na day one niya and he's so happy kasi fully book agad siya. So, meron kasi sa Ingo na meron siyang parang tagging na you need to pass. Meron siyang exam, pero yung exam, madali lang yung exam. You need to pass para, para pa-level up yung account mo. Parang ganun. Uh, para the more ka na makikita ng mga students and yes. And, excuse me, marami talagang students dito sa Ingo eh. Kasi hindi lang siya Japanese Meron ding mga Korean students, Chinese students, at iba pa. Iba't iba pong ano, nationalities ang students dito sa Ingo. Next is teacher. Ah, okay. Wait lang. Hmm. Anong style of teaching mo teach? What if po your student loses his or her attention sa lesson mo? Ano pong best way ga gawin? <laughs> Ano? Uh, ako ang gagawin ko kapag feeling ko parang naboboard tong student ko ah. Uh, lalakasan ko yung boses ko. <laughs> parang, hi, are you there? Okay, let's have energizer. Let us sing. Do you know the song Baby Shark? Parang out of the blue na parang magbibigay ka ng energizer sa student. And then... Um, yun, kakanta kayo ng baby shark. Kahit hindi siya related sa topic, pang-energizer lang, okay na yun. <laughs> so, yun yun. Yun yung mga ginagawa ko. Lalakasan, uh, lakasan ko yung boses ko. I will make it more entertaining and more TPR, body movement, hand gestures, ganun. And next, teacher Sarah, how much po usually yung salary sa Ingo? Depende po ba sa student or sa oras? Depende siya sa um, inopen mo na slots. So, for example, ah, kasi per, per 25 minute is 60 pesos. So, if you open slot for, ano, kunwari mga um, 8 slots. Um, so, 8 slots, 8 times 60, meron kang 480. Ganon. So, per slot po siya. And per slot is 60 pesos. Kasi 25 minute per, ah, uh, 60 pesos per 25 minute. And 120 pesos per 50 minutes. So, ganun siya. Depende kung ilang slots ang inopen mo and ilang students ang nagbubuk sa'yo. So, ganun. Ganun po siya. Okay. So, si Teach SJTP. So, yung question mo kanina, Teach, is um, nag-apply ka sa ibang ESL and then you got hired and you wanted to cancel your um, account in Ingo, di ba? So, I think madideactivate yung account mo 90 days after na wala kang mga bookings. So, automatic madideactivate yun. And dun yun sa help option tips at uh, and dun yun sa help option teach, dun sa tutors dashboard natin, may help option dun. So, you can click on that. And then, i-click mo yung 
um, link ng ano, deactivating account or account deactivation. Andun yun. So far sa nabasa ko, 90 days. Pag after 90 days, wala ka talagang bookings, wala ka talagang open na slots, then automatic ma-deactivate yung account mo. You can still review, Ticha, if if ever I'm wrong. So, you can review. Next is si Teacher Rose Ann. Nabasa ko na po yung demo prep guidelines. Medyo na-confuse lang po ako sa navigation ng lesson room. Hoping na matutunan ko siya sa training na gagawin nyo. Nakapag-book na po ako sa inyo. Oh! So, yeah. So, for first-timers talaga, uh, malilito ka sa lesson room. But then... Um, you will get used to it. Kasi, you will realize na, ah, madali lang pala to. Okay? So, madali lang siya teach. And, yes, I will also include that one in my training and in our mock demo lesson. So, I will also, it's also part of my, ano, pag-navigate. Next is, teacher Ernest, what do you mean by account? <laughs> Pareho tayo ng tanong kanina. Okay. Teacher Redilin, teach may mga uploaded videos ka po ng mga actual lessons mo na po. At teach, bawal kasi siya eh. Bawal siya sa Ingo na may mga recorded videos ka um, sa student. Kaya nga, um, ano, chinange ko yung ano ko, yung demo lesson ko. Parang nag naghahanap pa ako ng ano, if it's sa Skype ba, kasi bawal po siya ng Ingo eh. Andun po sa privacy nila. Okay, so, ganun po. <laughs> okay, next, Teacher Al Alec. May ratings din po ba sa Ingo? Yes, may ratings sa Ingo. So, they can rate 5 stars, 1 star, 2 stars, ganun. So, for 1 star and 2 stars, meaning dissatisfied sila sa teaching skills mo, di ba? So, Ingo will ask a reason sa student kung bakit ba nag -re rate ka ng 1 dito sa tutor na to. Parang ganun. So, malalaman mo naman ratings mo generally dun sa profile mo. Okay? Next, si teacher. Okay, teach. Thank you. You're welcome, teach. Okay, next. Teacher Joseph, you are so passionate in helping aspiring teachers to get hired in Ingo. Thank you, Teach. Sana ma-hire ako. Yes, I hope so. Um, ano, gusto ko kasi makatulong kasi al alam ko kung gaano kahirap yung sitwasyon natin ngayon na nasa bahay lang, walang trabaho, walang income. And yung iba kasi nagbe-message sila, Teach, tulungan mo ako, um, Marami akong bills na babayarin. Ganyan, hindi ko na hindi ko inexpect na mawawalan ako ng trabaho. Um, first time ko sa online teaching. Dito na lang ako mag um, dito na lang ako mag-work. Um, kaysa sa wala akong income. So, dun parang parang gusto kong tumulong kasi uh, mahirap din eh. Mahirap talaga yung sitwasyon na ganun. Then yung iba naman nagme-message na teach, tulungan mo ako. Um, Kasi uh, mahirap talaga yung sitwasyon namin ngayon. Wala akong trabaho at saka yung, uh, yung husband ko, wala ring trabaho. Meron kaming mga anak, ganun. So, iba talaga, iba talaga kapag ano eh, kapag na-feel mo yung kahirapan din. Parang gusto mo rin tumulong. Kahit, kahit konti, gusto mong tumulong. So, I hope in this um, little way, um, makakatulong tayo and... Um, hindi ko naman kaya to nga, ako lang mag-isa eh. So, I also need your help. Um, this is a tutor's community, teacher's community. Ma-first time man, ma-beginner man kayo or hindi. Tulungan tayo dito, okay? Sabay tayong aangat. <laughs> okay. Okay, next is, um, ano pa, teach what makes Ingo different from other company in terms of booking system. At I think na nasagot ko na to, di ba? Okay. Thank you so much for all the info. Very helpful po. You're very accommodating. You're welcome, Teach. Thank you din sa time. Teach, kapag mga kids po ang tinuturuan, need namin props like cute headband. <laughs> okay. Meron talagang ESL na nag, um, they really require props, no? <laughs> Pero dito kasi sa Ingo, wala akong props na ganyan, eh. <laughs> You, kahit kids pa tinuturuan ko, wala akong mga puppet-puppet, wala akong ganyan, wala akong, 
wala akong mga staff toys, yung mga star, you have a star, wala akong ganun. <laughs> ano lang, uh, dito sa Ingo, hindi siya required, but it is highly recommended. Ako, hindi ako gumagamit ng ganyan. Ito lang yung ano ko, ito lang yung props ko dito sa working station ko, medal. <laughs> okay, ito yung tip ko kapag nakapasok na kayo. Um, once, yung pag-end ng class or ending the class, you will say, ha, uh, thank you for booking my class and this will be your award. Ayan, ginaganyan ko sila para naman maganahan sila na, oh, may gold medal ako dun sa teacher ko. Balik ulit ako, magbook ulit ako. Ganon. So, ano lang, uh, pampagaan ng loob sa kanila, parang ganon. Make them feel that they they are very good, they 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 really improve. Parang ganon. Okay? Next is Teacher Rose. Teach ka na, yes, daling po kung saan mag-submit ng application. Okay, wait ha. Asan ba yung link dito? Yung link kasi, teachers, makikita nyo rin siya sa Google eh. When you, um, when you try to search, meron din siya sa Google. So, but then again, I will still forward it. One moment. Mm, eto na. Ayan. Ayan yung link kung saan kayo mag a -apply. Okay. Asa na ba ako? Sino na ba yun? Si Teacher Rose yung last, no? Okay. Thank you in advance po. You're welcome po. Okay, si Teacher Sarah. May app din po ba yung Ingo or sa Skype lang po? Meron po. Ang Ingo, meron talaga siyang website kung saan doon kayo, doon lahat, andun lahat yung materials ng students, andun lahat yung, uh, meron talaga siyang website sa lahat. Andun yung profile mo, yung tutor's dashboard mo, then doon din kayo magkakandak ng class. So, in just one website, Okay. Next is si Teacher Guernica. Good evening, Teach. If mag-apply sa Ingo, are there available classes or slots for times like nine? Yes, Teach. Dito sa Ingo, it's 24-7. Walang tulugan. So, kung gusto mo mag-open ng slots 24-7, it's up to you. <laughs> Kaya nga, gusto ko dito eh. Kasi ikaw yung nagko-control sa oras mo. So it's really flexible. You um they are open 24/7. You can still open slots like 12 midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. But take note ha, um Japanese time is 1 hour ahead. So meaning if it's ano bang oras ngayon sa atin? 9, 9 in the evening. So dun sa Japan it's 10 in the evening. So they are 1 hour ahead dito sa Philippines. I tried to open slot 5 a.m., like 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Fully book pa rin ako. <laughs> so, meron talagang, ano, no, mga Japanese na they really, ano, they are really interested in English kasi they really wake up very early para lang dun sa English lesson. <laughs> so, they're very passionate talaga. Okay, next si Teacher Con. May napanood po akong vlog ng students ng Ingo. Pinakita nila experience nila with their tutor. And more on free talk yung nangyayari. Mapapakita mo pa yung itsura ng lesson page sa MAC or demo training. Ako, Teach, hindi ko pinapakita. Kasi, um, nagbasa kasi ako ng, ano, eh, ng contract and, dun, and also yung <coughs> privacy information ng ano ng Ingo sa website um, meron kasi doon na bawal bawal mag-release ng information sa student or yung face niya bawal talaga siya eh pero if there is any vlog na makikita mo na ganon ganyan so let them be um Yung sa akin lang is my safety and my, ano, parang safety ko or parang uh, I'm guarding myself para hindi ako masu ng or makasuhan ng ingo. 
kasi bawal talaga yun eh. Yung nagpapakita ng face ng student, bawal po yun. Kaya ako, hindi ko pinapakita. Kasi private yun eh. Naka-private information talaga yun. Okay? So next, si Teacher Redlin. Ano po mostly students, young or adult learners po? And may choice ka po ba kung anong age group? Yes. So all level of students meron dito sa Ingo. Kids, um, junior high school, senior high school, university students, or yung mga college, or mga adults. So, meron akong student na, ano pa lang, 4 years old, 3 years old, andun na. Meron din akong student like 50 years old, um, ano, 55 years old. So, mga oldies na, nag, uh, they, re, they, still, they are still learning English. And it's really up to you what type or what level of students you wanted to teach. If ayaw mo ng bata, kasi yung bata sobrang effort eh, dapat talaga galaw-galaw, ganun. Um, if ayaw mo ng mga kids or ng bata, you can request to remove the tag. Ang tawag kasi doon is tag, T-A-G. Yung tagging na may kids sa profile mo. So, kapag maalis yon meaning, no kids allowed. <laughs> Parang walang mga bata na pwede mag-book sa'yo. Lahat is high school pataas. Ganon siya. Okay? Next, si Teacher Rose. Thank you po. You're welcome. Next, si Teacher Ernest. I'm confused if Ingo is good enough for a living. Um, sa akin, to be honest, ha? If, ano, full-time talaga, and then, yung, you are, you really wanted to earn, uh, yung masipag ka talaga mag-open ng slots, it is, it is really good for a living. For me, ha, kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng mga, um, iba-iba tayo ng mga op op opinion. So, for me, if masipag ka lang talaga mag-open ng slots, then, it's really Okay. It's really good. Kasi walang limitasyon dito eh. You can open slots as many as you want. Walang ano dito, walang pinagbabawal. Like, hindi kagaya ng ibang ESL na they only require 7pm to 12 midnight. Then, yun lang. Dito kasi 24-7. So, depende na sa'yo. Kung anong gustong income mo? Do you want to have higher income? Then you open more slots. If you want to have lesser income, then mag part-time ka lang. But then, um, based talaga sa experience ko, marami talagang students na magbubuk kahit pa day one mo pa. Okay? So, yun. Next is Teacher Rainy, uh, Rainy's vlog. Hi, Teacher. Thank you for helping us, aspiring tutors. You're welcome, Teach. Next, Teacher Jihan. May instances po ba na meron ring student sudden lessons? Ah, wala pong sudden lessons. Lahat po is booked. Booking talaga. Booking system. Next is Teacher Rianis vlog. Teach wala po wala po ako experience sa online teaching first time po but i am a teacher by profession i am interested to apply yes teach you can dito sa ingo as long as you are 18 years old and above it's either you are graduate or not it's either you have experience or not you will you are qualified here uh dun lang talaga kayo magtatalo sa mga ano video test english test Ganon. And you need to pass the lesson. Mock demo, le uh, demo, actual demo lesson for you to pass. Okay? So, even if first-timer ka, actually, sa mga first-timer and mga beginners, this is a good start. Itong Ingo na company. Uh, dito ka talaga mahahasa. Katulad ko, um, this is my first ESL company. Dito ako nagsimula. Dito ako talagang natuto ng, ano, natuto masyado. <laughs> Kasi 18 years old lang ako before nung nag-apply ako first dito. And yung pangalan pa nila nito is not yet Ingo. It's still, it's Bibo. Bibo pa yun. Ngayon, Ingo na siya. Okay? So, yes, teach. You can. You are teacher in profession. So, mas advantage sa'yo. Kasi 
kahit wala kang experience sa online, but in personal or in reality, you are a teacher in profession. So, meaning, may idea ka na. Okay? So, next is Teacher Redolid. Once po may mag-book sa'yo, how to know po kung anong lesson yung ituturo and is there enough time to prepare for it? Like, master your lesson before teaching? Um, ganito kasi yun. After the training, magbibigay yung trainer ng schedule. When is your actual demo lesson? So, meron silang ibibigay na mga test accounts. Meaning, yung account na yun is, yun yung website ng tutor or tutor's dashboard. Makikita mo doon kung sino yung student or yung evaluator na nagbubook sa'yo. Kasi yun yung actual demo lesson mo eh. So, if you will click on that, you will be routed to the lesson page or yung classroom. So, um, in the classroom, if you open or if you go to the lesson page, makikita mo agad kung ano yung topic or kung ano yung lesson. So, you can go to the lesson page ahead of time. Like mga 10 minutes before the time, 15 minutes before the time, para makapagbasa ka, makapag-prepare ka, ano ba tong lesson about, ano ba tong mga words dito, or mga, ano ba tong article na to, mga ganun, makapag-prepare ka. But then again, after the training is your demo lesson. They will assign you um, evaluators. Okay? So that will happen in just a day, one day. So you will still know the result after your demo lesson. Okay? Teacher Con, sa previous company ko po kailangan mag-open ng schedule one week in advance. Paano po sa Ingo? Dito sa Ingo... Per week din siya. Per week siya. Eh, for example, today is, ano, di ba? Ano ba? Friday. So, you can, you can open your schedule uh, like one week. Yes. Pero, mga next next week, hindi ka pa pwede mag-open ng schedule. So, one week din siya. One week in advance. But after a week, uh, parang naka parang naka parang naka grade out pa yon hindi ka pa pwede mag open so ganun one week one week lang talaga hindi siya pwede maging advance in two weeks advance in three weeks okay so ganun po okay next si teacher Ernest what are the benefits they offered and if 60 pesos per lesson that means 120 per hour. Fix na ba yun? I mean, tax-free? Hey, I just want to be sure before ako lumipat ng company. Yes, Teach, that's that's okay. You really need to ask. Kasi nga, ba? if this job is for your living, you really need to make sure kung mabubuhay ka ba ng company na to. So, that's a very good question. So, dito sa Ingo, so, 60 pesos per lesson, that is 25 minutes. So, that means 120 per 50 minutes. And that is fixed. So, one time I asked the Ingo support team if they have, what are their bases to parang, to increase the salary, diba? So, they responded na for now, um, there are situations that they will give, um, they will give promotions to the to the teachers or they will give higher higher salary to the tutors but it depende lang talaga sa kanila kung ano they are not giving me any criterias or any requirements na dapat ma-meet mo to ganun 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 wala silang ganun they just told me na it really depends on their company kung may ibibigay sila na um parang Itataas ba yung sahod mo or itataas ba yung rating mo? Depende po yan sa kanila. And then, dun sa tax, it's not taxed free. Meron pong tax kasi dito sa Ingo, uh, you are an independent contractor. Okay? So, independent contractor, that means that there is no employee and employer relationship. Kasi independent ka eh, independent contractor ka. That means that your company or Ingo will not pay for your SSS, for your pag-ibig, for your PhilHealth. So, ikaw dapat yon voluntary. 
Ganun po, okay? And then, yung sa tax, you can avail the 0% tax. Meron lang silang mga requirements doon na dapat mong i-submit or i-comply before you can avail the 0% tax. Uh, eh ako, hindi ko na-submit. <laughs> so, kaya meron akong tax. But then, um, hindi ko siya na-submit kasi COVID nga, di ba? Parang hindi ka masyado makaka-travel kung saan-saan. Limited lang yung kilos mo. But then, um, at the end of the year, you can request for, ano ba tawag doon? Yung income tax return. Ganon. Para yung mga tax na dinididak sa sa'yo, every month, pwedeng maibalik sa'yo. Okay? Ganun siya. Okay, next, Teacher Rose, teach what if you failed? Can we reapply immediately? Um, if you failed, you will need to reapply after six months pa. So, dun sa English and video test, yun yung first step, di ba, ng application. So, if you failed on that, you can reapply after six months. Marami kasi nagtatanong na, Teach, what if mag-apply ako ulit? Ibang email lang yung gagamitin ko. Uh, for me, it's not really safe or it's not really applicable kasi nag, uh, nag-upload ka ng picture mo eh. Doon sa previous email mo, di ba, nag-upload ka ng picture. So, if you... Um, apply again using different email address, madidetect din yun kasi meron kang ID na in-upload eh. Yun lang yung ano ko ha, yung logic ko or yung parang naiisip ko. But then again, uh, depende sa inyo if you will try. You can try applying again using different email. Pero para sa akin, madidetect nila yun kasi meron kang ID na in-upload. So, they will still know. And then, if you failed the two demo lesson, you will still fail. Then, you can reapply after six months. But if you failed only one demo lesson, you pass the other demo lesson, then do the retraining. Meaning, magbubu ka ulit, mag-train ka ulit, mag-demo lesson ka ulit. Until you pass. Ganon. Okay? Next, si Teacher Jihan. Ilang minutes po ang actual demo? 25 minutes po talaga or issue shorten? Mm, depende sa evaluator teach. Merong evaluator na tatapusin talaga yung 25-minute class. Meron ding evaluator na ikakat kanya or issue shorten niya. Um, before, nung sa akin, um, kinakat niya ako eh. Sino shorten niya like, okay, go to the ending part. Parang ganun, sinabi niya. Then, yun. I'm... Nag, nag-assume na lang ako na okay, ending part na, blah, blah, blah. So, ganun. So, the, again, depende yun sa evaluator mo po. Okay? So, uh, yung mga first-timers or yung mga beginners, huwag kayong, ano ha, huwag kayong matakot kasi itong Ingo, ito yung company na that you can be, yung parang stepping stone nyo. Kasi, isa to sa company na um, uma-accept ng mga walang experience um, or yung mga first-timers. So, if you just, ano, if you're just um, willing to apply, then be positive lang din talaga sa result. Then, why not, di ba? <laughs> baka, baka chamba pa. <laughs> okay, next. Teacher Alec, teach kami po ba mag-aasikaso ng tax? Hindi po ba company? Um, tayo po yung mag-aasikaso ng tax kasi, again, independent contractor tayo. Uh, independent contractual? Contractor. Contractor. <laughs> independent contractor tayo. So, tayo, mag- tayo yung mag-aasikaso ng tax. Ang sa atin lang is magsasubmit tayo ng papers, tas sila na bahala dun. Parang ganun, meron lang silang requirements na dapat nating i-submit. Ganun po siya. 
Okay, next teacher Ernest. Wow, thank you so much for answering all my questions. I found your channel very informative. I would definitely recommend your channel to my colleagues. Thank you, teacher Ernest. Thank you po. So, um, again, yung mga tanong nyo, as long as alam ko lang yung sagot or if may idea ako sa, sa, sa mga katang katanungan nyo, sasagutin ko po yan. Kahit pa parang negative yung sagot or para... Kasi... I really want to be honest or be transparent to you. Hindi naman kasi ako parang, um, okay, dito kayo sa Ingo, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Um, kasi iba't iba tayo ng preference eh. Meron ding ibang tutors na ayaw nito, ayaw niyan. So ako, hindi rin ako namimilit. But then, I recommend. Pero kung ayaw nyo, okay lang. Pero kung hindi, okay lang din. Ganun, di ba? I just want to be transparent and answer all your questions with all honesty. Kahit pa negative yung feedback or ganun, okay lang talaga. Thank you so much, Teacher Ernest. Thank you po. God bless. Next, um, mood vibes. Ano po ang meaning kung a-attend ka na ng training? If ma-accept ka po ba, magtuturo ka na? If mag-aattend ka ng training and demo lesson sa Ingo, when you pass, then meaning you got, you will be hired as an Ingo tutor. Yun na yun. <laughs> okay. Next is Teacher Sarah. Hindi po talaga pwede gumamit ng pocket wifi kahit ikaw lang talaga yung nakakonek habang wala pa po salary kung meron na saka na po bibili ng DSL. Hindi po pwede teach. Yun talaga yung ano talaga, yung problema ng iba na ano, magpapakonek pa or wala pang connection. Parang ganun. Yung, di, yung mga modem wifi, yung mga pocket wifi, hindi po talaga siya pwede kasi pag mag... Ano bang tawag doon? Speed test. If you will do speed test kasi, meron, makikita kasi doon eh kung nakapakit wifi ka or naka prepaid wifi ka. Makikita kasi doon. Uh, I tried na or my trainee uh, tried it already na naka ano lang siya, naka modem. Um, palang prepaid wifi yung gamit niya. And andun talaga sa speed test, makikita talaga kung um, ano yung connection mo. For postpaid, makikita din. So, much safer na postpaid talaga. Pero ito ha, um, I can give you suggestions. If you have a friend or kapitbahay nyo na may postpaid Wi-Fi, you can ask for a screenshot. Or you can request for a speed test. Tapos yun yung isi-send mo sa kanila. Parang ganun. Pero again, discretion nyo yun kung gagawin nyo yun, okay? Okay? <laughs> Alright. So next, teacher, uh, ito, mood vibes. Ilang oras pong training? Ang training sa Ingo is 4 to 5 hours. Uy, baka malito kayo ha. Yung training ko at saka training sa Ingo. Yung training sa Ingo, teachers, yun yung final talaga. Yung training ko, um... This is not part of the training in Ingo. Iba yun, iba din ako. Ang akin kasi, I, I just make tutors uh, to be fully aware kung ano yung mangyayari sa, during their training and their demo lesson. Ganun lang. Hin wala po akong power na uh, sasabihin ng Ingo na, Uy, tanggapin nyo to kasi nakapasa sa akin sa training. Hindi po. I am just an online tutor who are helping aspiring tutors dito sa Ingo to pass their um, demo. Okay? So, yun lang. Baka kasi yung iba nag-iisip na kapag makapasa sa akin, eh, makapasa na din sila dun sa Ingo. No, hindi po. Again, hindi po assurance na kapag mag-training ka sa akin is makakapasa ka din dun sa Ingo. Kasi again, I would just like to remind na this is a teamwork. If I give information, I give all the details, pero hindi nyo rin sinusunod or hindi rin kayo nag-practice, so wala rin mangyayari on your actual demo lesson, di ba? So again, this is a teamwork. Tulungan tayo. Okay? Ganun lang. Next is Teacher Con. Ano po usually iniwasang topics pagdating sa free talk? Dami ko nang natanong sa yuti. <laughs> um, next live, no? Mag-ano kaya ako? Parang Teacher of the night. 
yung ang daming tanong. <laughs> Teacher of the night. Okay, so, okay, uh, yung mga bawal na topic sa free talk, um, yung mga about gender identity, yung mga ano, mal, um, sensitive na topic, like religion, um, race, nationality, ano pa ba? Basta yung mga sensitive na topic nowadays, like political, or ano yung mga religion preference mo, political preference mo, mga sensitive topic. Please do not open that kind of topic. Kasi bawal po yan, or sensitive yan na mga topic. Um, what I highly recommend, or my tip for free talk is, you talk about your common hobbies. For example, ang hobby ng estudyante mo is um, traveling. So you, as a tutor, kung hilig mo rin mag-travel, so you talk about that topic. Yung makakarelate ang student, at the same time, makakarelate ka rin as a tutor. Kasi dun, dun lalabas yung maraming tanong, um, chika-chikahan, ganon. Okay? So yun yung tip ko for free talk. Okay, next, teacher mood vibes. Ngayon po kasi ang schedule ko, 12 a.m. Wish me luck po. Huh? First year college pa lang po kasi ako. 12 a.m.? Meron ng 12 a.m.? Sa, meron bang 12 a.m. na schedule? Ngayon po kasi ang, or 12, oh, sure ka, teacher mood vibes. <laughs> okay, but anyway, okay. Okay, next, teacher at teacher mo advice, paki-confirm ha, paki-double check yung email mo kung um, ano talaga yung schedule ng training mo. Okay? <laughs> Next, teacher Rose, di po ba screenshot lang hinihingi nila? Okay lang po ba if maghingi na lang ng screenshot sa friend ko tapos yun na lang po ang submit Yes, teacher Rose, that will be your discretion. Okay? Depende na ho sa inyo yan kung yan yung discarte mo. Um... Yung screenshot, safe yun. Kahit you will ask it to other people or sa kapitbahay nyo or your friend mo. But yung speed test kasi, um, hindi mo yun ma-cheat-cheat. Kasi meron talaga siyang serial number or meron siyang nakalagay sa speed test kung saan malalaman kung naka-modem prepaid wifi ka ba or naka-LTE packet wifi ka ba. Okay? But then, your question... Um, if you ha ask for a screenshot sa friend mo, then that will be your discretion. Okay? <laughs> okay, next, Teacher Gina. Ma'am, paano po maka-attend ng training niyo po? Okay, dito kayo mag-book, teachers. Wait lang, isi-send ko ha. Asan ba yun? Wait lang. Isi-send ko na lang or i-comment ko na lang dito sa link. Uh, dito sa live natin, yung link ng booking form. Ayan. Wait lang. Okay. So, ayan. Yan yung booking form natin, teachers. So, you can choose which time. Kung ano gusto mo. Okay. Next. Ah, saan na ba yun? Saan na ba ako? Okay, dito. Thank you so much for this Q&A. You're welcome, Teach. <laughs> okay. So, ni di sino ba dito yung mga first-timer or yung mga yung mga may experience na yung mga may experience na I think mas advantage yun kasi uh, meron na kayong idea kung kung paano gawin yung mga um, demo class, di ba? Ang kaibahan lang is, iba yung lesson flow dito or iba yung class flow dito na susundin. Yung mga first-timers naman or yung mga beginner, yung kakasimula pa lang, um, yung challenging dito is on how you adapt sa, sa online world na parang, Um, okay, online teaching, you need to familiarize the lesson flow, you need to know about TPR or hand movement, body gesture, hand gestures, parang ganun. But then, if you are just really willing to learn, 
if you are really open-minded, then matututo ka talaga. Just like me, before college din ako, no, nag-start ako noon. Kasi pagbasa ko na 18 years old pa ta, say, okay pala to, pwede ako dito. So, um, trinay ko lang. Trinay ko lang mag-apply. Um, hindi naman ako nag-expect na matatanggap pala ako. <laughs> yung evaluator pa nung time na yun is um, mga Pinoy lang or mga Filipino lang. Yung evaluator ko is taga Davao. So, when I do my demo lesson, nanginginig talaga ako yung kamay ko. Yung tuhod ko. Pero, um, mini make sure ko na yung face ko na makikita ng kamera, hindi siya mahahalata na, um, na dininerbios ako. Okay lang yung kamay kasi hindi naman makikita eh, na nag-shake ka na dyan or yung tuhod mo, okay lang. Pero your face... You just really need to smile. Kahit na deep inside, parang natatakot ka na. Parang ano ba itong pinasok ko? <laughs> parang ganun. And I, I still remember na yung lips ko, if I, if I conduct a class dun sa actual demo lesson ko, nanginginig siya. Ganun ako kanerbyosa before. Kasi first time eh, um, wala nga nagturo sa akin nun eh. I just watched online video sa YouTube. And then, take note, yung YouTube hindi pa sobrang sikat like ngayon. Wala pa gaanong nag-online noon sa YouTube. So, very limited lang talaga yung resources ko. But see, ano, nakapasa ako. Kasi, as long as you are willing to learn and then you are very positive, ganun lang talaga. So, wag kayong negative na, ah, first timer ako, baka hindi ko to kaya, parang ganun. So, go lang ng go, teachers. Do not quit. <laughs> okay? So, we have another question. Teach Sarah, pwede na po bang low prepaid wifi teach? Hindi rin teach. Yung mga prepaid wifi, yung mga LTE, hindi po yun allowed. Kahit pa may LAN connection. Ang allowed lang talaga dito sa Ingo is postpaid wifi. Yung talagang, ano, yung may internet bundle talaga na may telephone, may modem, and may LAN connection. Yun talaga yung allowed. Kung maghihingi kayo ng screenshot sa friend nyo or kahit kanino, um, yung colleague nyo, ganun, um, discretion nyo na yun. Okay? Uh, decision nyo na yun. Okay, next, Teacher Alec. Teach back. Ka, hindi mo na po kami maasikaso lahat sa training sa sobrang dami namin magpapabok sa'yo. <laughs> hindi kasi kaya nga nag-aano ako ng schedule eh. Um, nilalagay ko yung mga schedules ko dun kasi dun lang talaga ako vacant. Ngayon, sa sobrang dami nyo, paunahan na lang kayo dun. <laughs> Pero case-to-case basis, um, if you have a training na hindi kayo nakabook, tas training nyo bukas, If lang nababasa ko yon or makita ko yon sa Skype, makita ko yon sa Messenger ko, I will really entertain you. Gaya nung kanina na nag-message siya sa Skype. So, ewan ko, pumop up naman siya sa ano, sa notification ko. Sabi niya, "Teach, tulungan mo ako bukas na yung ano ko training ko, hindi pa ako nakapag-prepare ng ano, hindi pa ako nakapag-book sa yo." So, of course, ano, um And entertain ko siya. Kasi parang urgent kasi yun eh. Na bukas na, tas hindi pa siya prepared. So, yun, in entertain ko siya. Kahit wala akong ano ngayon, kahit wala akong schedule ngayon for, ano, demo lesson. So, I still entertained him. Um, so, meron, marami talagang nagpapabook. So, paunahan na lang talaga kayo, okay? So, next is teacher con. On a scale of 1 to 10, gaano po kataas ang standards ng Ingo para makapasa? Hmm. Hmm. Sa ngayon kasi, ewan ko, iba, iba, iba talaga siya. Meron naman siyang ano, um, standard process talaga. Pero for me, depende talaga sa evaluator mo. Doon talaga magbe-base. Meron kasing evaluator na... Ito yung evaluator sa demo lesson mo, ha? Meron kasing evaluator na... Mm, mataas yung standards talaga. Meron din naman kasi... Meron ding ibang evaluator na... 
um, parang emotional <laughs> na okay, nakikita ko sa kanyang mga mata na parang he's really willing to learn, she's really willing to learn. So, why not? Okay, I will approve this. Parang, okay, I accept ko to, I hire ko to. Ganun, depende po talaga sa evaluator. Kasi meron ding nag-PPM sa akin na, teach, hindi ako nakapasag, parang ganun. Kasi, ewan ko yung evaluator, ganito, ganyan. Uh, eh, meron naman ako experience na four years being a call center agent. So, biruin mo ha, call center na yun. Meaning, ano na yun, parang grabe na yung English na natutunan nun kasi call center eh. Pero field pa rin siya sa demo lesson niya. Again, hindi ko kayo tinatakot ha. Ano lang, I just want to be honest. Meron din naman akong trainees na walang experience ano talaga, first-timers, beginners, pero natanggap. So, dun ko na, parang na-realize ko na, I think siguro magvavary din to sa evaluators. Kasi meron talaga evaluators na sobrang taas ng standards. And meron ding evaluator na parang okay lang if, if okay yung pinapakita niya, then go. Parang ganun, easy lang. So, again, depende sa evaluator. And yung evaluator natin is Japanese and Filipino. So, Japanese recruitment and Filipino training team or recruitment team. Um, meron din ako, isi-share ko lang ha, meron din akong trainee kasi na uh, yung status niya is retraining. Meaning, she failed on the first demo and Uh, she passed on the first demo and she failed on the second demo. Yung first demo, Japanese yung evaluator. Yung second demo na free talk or free conversation, Filipino yung evaluator. So, dun siya na failed sa Filipino ang evaluator. While sa Japanese, nakapasa siya. So, meaning, <laughs> yung Filipino evaluator siguro na nag-evaluate dun sa demo lesson niya, Mataas siguro standard nyo ng Pinoy. Ewan ko, <laughs> Pinoy pa naman. <laughs> Pero hindi naman natin sila mabiblame kasi meron ng standard na sinusunod. So, that's it. Ano na lang talaga, pray, um, be positive, ganun lang. Okay? So, next is Teacher Sarah. Dumadami na kami teach kahit pa ulit-ulit kami nag-comment. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, ang dami nyo na. Sunod siguro magpapaano na ako. Meron na akong award sa mga teachers of the night. <laughs> Mag-comment kayo teachers sa kung or mag-recommend kayo kung ano yung ano mga mga parafol natin sa community or meron ba tayong mga palaro, ganun. Para para umunlad tayo yung community natin, dadami tayo, ganun. Then if you have a friend or a colleague na parang ay, matutulungan ito ni Ch Teacher Jill, parang ganun. You can recommend me para marami tayo sa community na to. Magtutulungan tayo, okay? Next, Teacher um, Ernest. Medyo nalilito, nalilito ako sa form nila. Ano po yung ilalagay na ID picture? Pwede ba ako mag-declare ng data privacy ha? Kasi government ID kasi. Ano po option ko na pwede ilagay doon? Um, yung preferred, ano talaga, preferred ID na um, i-upload mo is yung makikita yung birth date mo. Kasi, for them to make sure that you are 18 years old. Yan kasi yung purpose kung bakit, kung why they require um, uploading of ID. For them to be able to know that you are 18 years old and above. Kasi pwede naman sabihin na kahit sino na 18 years old and above siya, di ba? So, through that uploading of ID, they will be able to know na, ah, okay, this is 18 years old and above. Confirm. Parang ganun. So, um, yung ID, kahit pa government ID yan, meron ba yung ano, um, birth date? <laughs> Kasi pag kapag meron, okay yan. And dun sa data privacy, you can email Ingo Team. Um, regarding data privacy, okay? Para to make sure that um, safe talaga yung ano mo. But then again, ako, matagal na ako dito. So far, wala akong narinig naman ng mga reviews uh, about 
um, data privacy, breaching of data privacy, parang ganun, breaching of data privacy, wala naman eh, so far ang Ingo. And if you are hired na dito sa Ingo, like you are officially an Ingo tutor, meron dun sa tutor's dashboard mo, yung privacy information policy nila. And they really have an attorney to contact to, excuse me, meron talaga silang pangalan doon sa mga attorneys nila or sa mga, anong tawag doon? Pri- privacy information officer? Parang ganun, na if you have questions regarding data privacy, you can ask you can ask this person. Call this person or email this person. Meron silang ganun. Okay? So, yes, I hope I have answered all your questions, teachers. So, tanong pa kayo, we still have 30 minutes. I will end this live at 10 o'clock, okay? At uh, 10 p.m. All right? Okay, next, Teacher Jihan, nag-ask po ba ang Ingo ng self-introduction video teach? So, gaya ng sinabi nung, ano, kanina... Nag-comment si Teacher Con ba yun? Na meron ng self-introduction sa video test or dun sa English test. Sabi niya, ano na daw, um, self-introduction yung una. And second is, it's either a word or an idiomatic expression. Ganun da- na daw yung question. So, yung self-introduction, madali lang yun kasi... Yung sarili nyo yung ini-introduce nyo, meaning kilala nyo na yung sarili nyo eh. So, what you just need to do is make a graph, a draft, or gawa kayo ng draft para ma-familiarize nyo. Para pag mag-start na yung video testing or mag-start na kayo sa English test, then you can familiarize what you will say. Make sure teachers ha na pagdating sa video test, meron talagang eye contact dun sa camera dapat kayo nakatingin hindi kahit kung saan-saan kasi isa rin yun sa factor na kinoconsider ng Ingo so again quiet environment no barking of dogs no chicken sound no vehicles na parang uh, dumadaan sa ano nyo then plain environment and when you answer the question you look at the camera eye contact talaga that's very important then tpr hand movement um body gestures then yung the way na pagsagot nyo make sure na simple words lang or yung mga simple sentences um hindi necessary yung mga complicated na words mga jargon na words and then dapat neutral accent. Hindi nyo pinapahalata yung pagka-local accent natin or yung pagka-Pilipino accent natin. Okay? Ganun yung tip ko for English test. Next is teacher Jennifer. Saan po makukuha yung sahod teach? Through BPI teach. So, if wala kayong account sa BPI, you can, ano, you can send you can request them to send it through M. Lowellier for the meantime na meron pang COVID. Kasi hindi naman lahat makakapagpunta sa bangko, di ba? Like for me, uh, mula pa akong account sa BPI and hindi rin ako makapunta sa BPI. So, I requested them to send it through M. Lowellier. Yun lang yung option nila. M. Lowellier lang. Okay? And if okay na yung sitwasyon, um makapag-travel ka na sa ano, BPI, so you can open a uh, BPI account, uh, but before that, you can request Ingo to ha- um, to give a recommendation letter. Parang ganun, para pag punta mo sa BPI, ibigay mo lang yung recommendation letter and the BPI will automatically open an account for you. Okay? Next is Teacher Sophia. Hello po, itatanong ko lang po sana kung magkano yung base rate na ino-offer ng Ingo. So, 20, eh, 20. <laughs> 60 pesos per 25 minute and 120 for 50 minute. So, it's really um, per 25 minute talaga siya. So, 60 pesos. Ganun po. And on top of that is... Merong mga incentives. For example, if you have conducted 100 classes per cut-off, 
you will have 500 pesos or if you have conducted um, 100 classes with no cancellation, another 500. Ganun po siya. Meron pong mga incentives. Next is Teacher Caitlin. Hello, do they allow you to work for other ESL companies? No po. Um, if you are connected with other ESL companies, hindi ka po nila tatanggapin. But if you are connected with other companies except for ESL, then that is okay. Okay? And again, it will be your discretion if you, were, if you will inform them that you are connected with ESL company. Um, decision yun na po yun. But then again, hindi po nila tinatanggap yung connected sa ibang ASL company. Okay, next, teacher mood vibes. Ano po meaning nito? Friday, June 12, 2020, 12 a.m. U.S. or Eastern Time. Oy, as in may ganun. Kasi sa mga training emails, um, they only require mga PST, Philippine Standard Time, ah, siguro meron ng mga US recruitment team for them to ano na. Kasi marami na kasi talagang nag, nag-a-apply eh. So, US or Eastern. Ganun ba? Ayan ah, pala yung sinabi mo na 12 a.m. Let me check. If we search it in Google, 12 a.m., uh, ano ba yun? 12 a.m. Eastern Time. 2 Philippine Time. Hmm. Ah, oh, so that is 12 a.m. Ah, oh, okay. Kasi 12 hours behind yung Philippine Time. Hmm. Yes, teach. So, you can reply on the email, ha, to confirm. Again, teachers, wag kayong matakot to, ano, ha, to respond or to reply to the recruitment team. Or if you have any questions or clarifications. Kunwari ito. So, you can ask, hello, um, like, Hello there, good day. I would just like to confirm if this is really the correct schedule. If this is really my schedule for the training, please confirm or please advise. Thank you. Parang ganun. So please do not be afraid or do not hesitate to ask. They are very accommodating. Uh, pagpasok mo nga dito, if you will become an officially um, Ingo tutor, you will have a support 24-7. So meaning, if you will chat or if you will ask someone for an assistance they will really respond to you immediately uh, they are very ano, approachable so again if you have any clarifications dyan sa email nyo na hin parang hindi nyo naiintindahan yung instructions please reply okay huwag kayong matakot <laughs> It's better to ask than to pretend tas pagdating na pala sa training hindi pala ano Hindi pala insakto yung inaassume mo, di ba? So, better ask. Okay. So, next, Teacher Caitlin. Is land strictly required? Yes po. They really required land connection. Now, if you think mas malakas pa yung Wi-Fi nyo kaysa sa mag -land connection ka, then, again, it will be your discretion kasi they will ask, are you in a LAN connection? So, you can say yes. Uh, but then again, it will be your discretion. Okay? <laughs> uh, they will um, ask for a screenshot kasi sa desktop mo eh, to check if you are really in a Wi-Fi connection or LAN connection. So, that is why LAN connection is really required. Okay, next is, uh, saan na ba ako? Okay, Teacher Con, one question lang po about sa self-teach. For example, how would you describe your dream house? Or what do you usually do in your birthday? Ganun po ba? Iba ba? No, self-introduction lang teach. One question lang po about sa self-teach. Self-introduction yung, ano, teach. What do you mean by, ano, 
yung sa self-introduction, something about yourself. Like, for me, if I will do my self-introduction, I would start it with my name. All right, so let's start with my name. I'm Jilla Iskoltu. I'm 25 years old. I graduated in blah, 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 blah. I am a bachelor's degree of um, bachelor of science in psychology. So you describe yourself, your work experiences, and kung pwede nga, you can include why you are applying Ingo. Parang bonus points na yun. And I, kun, um, you can start by, and I decided to apply in Ingo because I've heard that this company is very well known and very, um, it has a very good management. Parang ganun. I can hear any positive reviews very good reviews so i wanted to be part of your company to contribute something for the success of your company so ganun um parang natural lang na pagsasalita uh and then you are selling yourself yung self introduction kasi it means that parang it's a way of saying sa company na okay um you introduce yourself Parang it means, okay, you sell yourself. Parang ganun. So, you need to sell yourself. Um, ganun. Para, para pagtingin ng company, ah, okay, itong tutor na to, maraming experience. Or kung walang experience, ah, okay, itong tutor na to, parang willing to learn ito. So, if wala kang experience... You need to be honest. I don't have any experience being an ESL tutor, but I am very willing to learn. I am open-minded to be trained. Parang ganun. So, you really need to um, inform the Ingo that you are very um, you are very willing to learn about their system and include why you love teaching. So that is a plus points. Ako kasi sa interview ko sa interview ko before, kahit hindi tinatanong, I really include that in my self introduction. Parang and I really love teaching. Teaching is really my passion. I love to teach kids. I love to teach um any level of students because I wanted to impart my knowledge to them. I wanted to share what I have learned to them. Parang ganun, okay? So, discarte nyo na yan. Before you do the self-introduction or the English or video test, you do a draft. You make a draft. Para basahin mo, you familiarize everything. Para pagdating mo sa um, actual self-introduction, then you will be really confident. Kasi na-familiarize mo na yung sasabihin mo. Okay? Next, Teacher Ernest. Um, how about BDO or Metrobank? Ah, oh, no po. BPI lang po talaga. So, BPI lang for bank and M. Lowellier lang for no bank accounts yet. Okay? So, Teacher Jihan, sa experience ko po sa English test, yung first question about yourself ay specific po about your life. Like, ano po yung nagaganap sa birthday po? Ganun. Ah, ganun ba? Oo, oh, okay din yun. Thank you, Teacher Jihan, ha, for letting us know. Sa so, pagkakaalam ko kasi dun is self-introduction talaga. So, if it's that's really the question, then it's much easier, di ba? So, what happened to your birthday? Okay, that's fine. Parang describe mo lang. So, for me, yung tip ko dyan, um, yung sinasagat... Uh, if ever the if ever I will conduct a, a, a test video and then the question is what happened to your birthday? So sasabihin ko na um, my birthday was celebrated in a quarantined month. Meaning naka quarantine, di ba? April kasi yung birthday ko eh. So what I did eh, um I shared my blessings um uh, instead of eating with my family, I cooked for the frontliners, parang ganun. Um, it's also a way of selling yourself. Na, ah, this, this tutor is very, ano, thoughtful, generous, parang ganun. 
Okay, that's good. Next is Teacher Sophia. Provided po ba yung mga learning materials sa Ingo? Yes. Andun po lahat sa website. Once you become an Ingo tutor, wala ka nang problemahin na materials. It's provided. Next, Teacher Alec. Maganda po pala sa Ingo dahil magbibigay lang sila ng recommendation letter for our BPI account. Hindi na mahirap at mag-open ng account. Yes. So, they will really provide recommendation letter para pagdating mo doon sa BPI, automatic na na they will really assist you. Kasi may recommendation letter eh. Next is, oh, Joe Alexis Abelia, nag-heart. Heart din. <laughs> okay, next, Teacher Jihan. Sa sked ko po nakalagay ay Asia. Oh, if it is Asia, then that's good. Meaning, Asian time. Okay, next, teacher earners. Oh, since you've mentioned the incentives, ano po pa nga penalties nila? Mga penalties nila if, um, for example, meron nakabook na class. And then, um, hindi mo na, ano, hindi mo na conduct yung class. And then, hindi ka nakapagbigay ng information or hindi ka nakapag-heads up sa support na I will be canceling this class for a reason, blah, blah, blah. So, if it is a canceled class with no not notice, that is, I think you will be deducted um, 40, 40 pesos. But if it is a... Uh, a cancelled class with notice, meaning nakapag-inform ka sa support team na na I will be cancelling this class kasi ganito, ganito, ganyan. Then, it will just be 20 pesos penalty. But, if you cancel the class kasi walang kuryente, walang internet connection, and you have an incident report, then that is just a cancelled class. No penalty. Okay? I hope that is clear. <laughs> okay, next, Teacher Con. Sagot ko po dun sa question kanina yan, Teach. Ah, okay. That's great. Teacher Alexis, tips in preparing yourself in demo class. Sa demo class, so before you do the demo class, make sure you, that all your tools are working. Yung headset mo, Yung laptop mo, na-update na ba yan? Kasi merong mga laptop na automatic nag-a-update eh. eh. What if in the middle of your um, demo class, automatic nag-update yung laptop? So, maputol. So, make sure to prepare your tools. Make sure it will be, it is really working fine. Okay? Next is your upper attire. Make sure it is presentable. Um, business attire talaga. And by the way ha, itong mga tips na sinasabi ko sa inyo, this is still included in our training if mag-book ka ng training sa akin. And then, after sa mga business attire na susuotin mo dyan sa upper, um, make sure that uh, your environment is quiet. Your internet connection is working well. You will have a good and stable internet connection. So, nung sa akin before, kasi marami kami dito eh, sa, sa bahay. Andun yung kapatid ko, andito yung mama ko, papa ko. So, I ask them to please disconnect from Wi-Fi first para lahat ng bandwidth talaga na sa akin or lahat ng internet connection talaga nakafocus lang sa laptop ko. So, I ask them a favor, please, at least just for 25 minutes or just for this time. So, yun. Um, they cooperated naman. <laughs> and then, um, yung background mo, it should be plain. Okay? So, in yourself naman, yung kailangan mong i-prepare during the demo class, you should be very ano, energetic. And then, smile. Smile. Eye contact. Yung mata mo dapat nasa camera nakatingin. Um, do not let the student or the evaluator feel na you are reading a script. You are reading something. Kasi meron silang class flow eh. Or demo, demo, demo lesson flow. 
which means yang lesson flow i will give that in our training okay uh, so meron silang class flow na dapat mong sundin so you need to prepare and you need to familiarize on those lesson flow para kapag pagdating sa actual demo class eh tuloy-tuloy ka na and you will have an eye contact and also um ano pa be cheerful be lively um have a friendly tone of voice okay it's not necessary talaga to have american accent or yung parang grabe mag english na after ko na wala parang napaka slang mag english hindi po it's not necessary ano lang normal way of speaking english neutral accent as long as hindi lalabas yung ano natin, pagka-Filipino accent or yung local accent natin. Neutral lang talaga, okay? And then, ano pa ba? Mga tips. Um, eto, yung chat box. Chat box is very important. Uh, if the student or your evaluator will ask, um, I want you to type my mistakes in the chat box. So please, gawin nyo yan. Kasi meron ako mga trainees na na-retraining sila kasi ginamit yung chat box twice lang, thrice lang, yung hindi consistent. So, you really need to follow of the instructions of your evaluator or your student. Okay? So, yun lang. And more tips dun sa aking training. <laughs> But for me, yun yung mga ano talaga, important, importante talaga. Okay, next is Teacher Con. Okay, so we will end at 10, pero marami pang questions. So, mga 10, 10, 15, dapat ano na tayo, matapos na tayo. <laughs> okay, um, kita-kita ulit tayo on Sunday, Sunday night, okay? So, next question, Teacher Con. Um, sample questions po sa question number one ng language test, yung mga sinend ko kanina, Teach, kasi natanong po ni Teacher Jan. Pero thank you din po sa pagbigay ng simple answers, sample answers. Okay, thank you, Teacher Con, for your ano, recommend, uh, mga sinabi mo, shinare mo yung ano, yung ano yung mangyayari, ganun. So, thank you so much, Teacher Con. Next, Teacher Angeline Pedrosa, is there an age requirement? Yes, 18 years old and above. 18 years old and above po. It's either your undergraduate or not. You are qualified as long as 18 years old and above. Next is Redline. Teacher Redline, during video test or language test, required na po ba na gumamit ng headset? Like yung gamit nyo na now? Uh, yes, because that is part of the requirement. Meron bang teachers na nakapasok na dito na gina ang gamit is headset lang? Or yung sa phone phone headset lang kasi para sa akin yung requirements talaga is ano na talaga um, noise cancellation headset na okay so next is Edrina teacher Edrina hello yung training po ba ay 1 hour only or 3 hours po siya talaga and my time pa po ba ay re review yung specific lesson material sa daily news or on the spot po before ng demo um, during your training, it will be three to five hours, and that already includes the demo lesson. And yung sa materials, you can review ahead of time. Um, for example, yung actual demo lesson mo is scheduled at 1 p.m. So, you can review the materials mga 12 12:30, 12:35, ganun. You can you can review para ma-check mo kung ano talaga yung materials na ano niya. Okay? Para ma-check mo, mabasa mo, makapag-review ka before the student enters the lesson page. Okay, next teacher Al Alina. Um ano, said ba? Hi teach, di po ako makapasok sa group page niyo po. Um, my Facebook page na po tayo, Teach. Wait lang ha. Asan ba yung Facebook page ko? <laughs> Dito ka, Teach, sa Facebook page ko. Wait lang. So, again, teachers, my Facebook page ako. So, pwede nyo yun follow para makita nyo yung mga updates. 
Okay, next teacher Alec, yung speed test po ba ahead of time po isa submit or during the demo class nila kukunin? Um, ahead of time, yung speed test. You should submit it 30 minutes before the training. Because, ano yan eh, uh, confirmation of your attendance. If you will not submit the speed test, then that means na hindi ka makaka-attend ng training nyo. So, your speed test is your basis for your attendance. Okay? Next, teacher H. H, H, ano ba to? Teacher, sorry kung natanong pa na po. Pero after language test, gaano po katagal malalaman kung pasado ka? So, after language test, you will still have the internet and internet and video, uh, ano ba yun? Internet connection test. So, after nun, Iba-iba um, siya. Merong 24 hours after, you will receive an email if you pass or failed. Meron ding iba 2 to 3 days after. And meron namang iba up to a week talaga. So, you really need to wait. Um, but rest assured that they will really send you an email if ever you pass or failed. Hindi sila paasa. <laughs> okay, next teacher, Adriana. Uh, Adrenia, hello, yung training po ba ay one hour only? Ay, tapos na pala to. Wait lang, sana ba ako? Uh, kailan po ulit pwede magpabook ng free training po sa inyo? You can book now po. Wait lang, asan ba yung booking ano ko? Sisend ko ha, yung link. Wait lang. Okay, again, teachers, um, hindi ako masyadong magiging active dun sa group page ha. Uh, I mean, uh, sa group page. Doon na tayo sa Facebook page ko. Okay? And tsaka, um, please leave a review. Um, positive or negative, okay lang talaga. Uh, I will accept that. Um, for the negative review, I'm very open-minded. That is also for my, um, ano ba, for my improvement. Okay? So, please, I highly recommend you to leave a review on my Facebook page page and also have a message okay so i will um post here the booking form ayan okay yan po booking form natin teach so next is teacher asan ba yun alina gaano katagal din po pala waiting time from language video test to the time na i-email ka whether you're accepted or not ah yes na nasagot ka na to kanina uh, merong 24 hours merong 1 2 to 3 days meron ding up to a week okay so just wait lang next follow up question teach like what is their minimum age requirement up to what age ah okay up to what age I ask the Ingo support team kasi it tinanong din to before sa live ko last Sunday. So I asked them and they said there is no minimum requirement up to what age. Wala kahit pa 60 years old you can still 61 62 as long as kaya mo pa. Na shock nga ako eh na ah, ganun talaga ganun ba? <laughs> Yes. Okay, so ne next is Teacher Alec. Yung training po ba teach na three hours dere-derecho? I think you will also have a break. <laughs> Pero ewan ko, sa, sa mga teachers dyan, kasi sa, before wala kasi kaming ganito eh. So sa mga teachers dyan na nakapasok na ano ba, uh, dere-derecho ba yan? Kasi for me, three to five, meron ata yung break yun eh. Yung three hours, siguro walang break. But after three hours, siguro meron namang break. Uh, hindi ako sure, teach. Pero sige lang. Baka may, baka may, ano, sumagot dyan sa tanong mo later. Sa mga teachers na nakapasok na. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Teacher Jill. Thank you to Teacher Adriana. Um, next, Teacher Con, pwede po ba mag-send ng payment in advance for your special class para mauna sa slot po? Second try ko na po kasi nag-book eh, my online seminars po ako, kaya sana makapag-book na ako. Ay, ganun ba, Teach? Um, yung ano kasi, yung payment, um, I require payment sa mga special class. Um kapag ano na, nakasend na ako ng booking confirmation. 
So, sa ngayon ba, hindi ka pa rin nakapag-book um, ngayon? Can you try to go to the booking, ano, teach, yung booking form na binigay ko? Kasi I adjusted my schedule. So, eto, eto yung ginawa sa, et, eto yung ginawa ko sa schedule ko. Monday to Thursdays lang ako nag-o-open ng slots ng Ingo. Kasi yung Fridays, dinedic, um, I dedicated that to all special class. So, naglaan talaga ako ng time. Whole day yan from 8am up to 5.30pm. So, all my Fridays for this month and next month is my special class na training. So, I hope talaga na ano... Teach, can you try the booking form ha? Kasi baka meron, meron pa atang vacant dun. And if your vacant time is wala dun, parang conflict yung time natin, uh, please uh, message me. Okay? Or comment. Kasi sa comment, mas madali ko makita eh. Kasi sa, sa message, marami kasi nagme-message, baka mag-flood and then matatabunan yung message mo. So, just comment yung iba. Okay? Next, Teacher Redeline. Uh, pwede na po magpabook sa training mo, teach as early as now or kapag nag-start na kami ng application. You need to start the application first, ha? Okay, eto siya. Before you book at free training sa akin, please apply first. Please, um, you need to have a scheduled training in Ingo before you apply or before you book a training with me. If wala ka pang schedule sa training ng Ingo, then please, um, do not book a training with me yet. Okay? Ibigay muna natin doon Ah, uh, ibigay mo na natin 'yon dun sa mga tutors na meron ng mga schedule. Okay? Um give and take tayo dito, okay? So please uh, mag-start muna kayo sa application nyo. Once you have the scheduled training sa Ingo, then that's the time you can book a training with me. Pero if wala pa, um ibigay mo na natin yung slots dun sa mga mas nangangailangan na tutors, okay? Kasi darating naman kayo diyan eh. Uh, once you have the scheduled training. Okay? So, thank you, teachers, for your understanding. <laughs> okay, next, Teacher Angeline. Teach, can I ask for the link in applying? Yes, Teach, I already sent it uh, kanina. The, the link where you can apply. So, asan ba yun? Okay, ito. I will send it again. Okay, next is Teacher Aliena, Alina. Hi, Teach. Are we requiring po ba yung teen number kahit student po? Yes. K kagaya nung akin, yung, nung 18 years old pa ako. As early as 18 years old, meron akong teen. <laughs> Kasi required talaga. If you don't have a teen, then Ingo can process in your behalf. So, you don't need to worry. Okay? Next, Teacher Jihan. Pwede po ba mag-bring ng snacks during training? Kasi po matagal-tagal. <laughs> yes, you can. Waste-waste lang sa pagkain. Parang ganun. And then eat. And then ganyan. <laughs> you can, of course. Pwede ka rin mag-ano ng tubig, di ba? Next, teacher con. Nag-rebook po ako for June 19, 9.30am. Pero walang confirmation pa po. Medyo sigurista lang. <laughs> Okay, ito yung ginawa ko sa booking form. Bakit siya nawala for like one night lang naman nawala ha? Kayo ha, grabe kayo. One night lang naman yun nawala. One, one night, ano ba yun? Two nights ba yun nawala? Uh, ano kasi, I, I arranged the booking form na parang I studied Google Forms kung paano ba to, paano ba na dapat sa itong schedule na to, Itong schedule na to, 10 lang na slots or 10 lang katao yung makakapag-book. And then yung schedule na to, isa lang na tao yung makakapag-book. So, I really watch video, tutorial videos dito sa YouTube regarding Google Forms. And then successfully, I found the answer. So, if you've booked a special class, then that booking will really be yours na. Wala, na, wala ka ng kahate doon. Kasi before, sa booking form ko, 
mag-check pa ako eh kung may ano, kung may kapareha kang schedule. So it's really a time consuming sa akin. Kaya I I close the booking form for the meantime para makapag ano ako, makapag-check ako kung meron pa bang mas ikagaganda tong or ikoko ikaka-convenient tong booking form ko para sa lahat, para mas madali yung trabaho natin lahat, para makakapag-attend talaga ako sa mga concerns niyo So, I hope, um, ano talaga, I hope na we will all be successful dito, makapasok kayo, and at the same time, I really appreciate your support po and your patience. Kahit hindi ko kayo masyadong nare-replyan but then you are very patient with me so I really appreciate po talaga. Salamat po. And dito po ako ngayon dahil po sa inyo. So dahil sa suporta nyo, dahil sa uh, words of encouragement nyo na teach, tumulong ka pa, marami pa kaming ano, marami pa kaming tutors na gustong um, gustong makapasok, parang ganun. So let's help each other. Okay? So next teacher Alexis, a um interview, a interview pa po pa kayo sa schedule date ng training. Wala na, wala na, wala na interview teach. So don't need you don't need to worry. Okay? Teacher Alina, ano pong gamit yung webcam ngayon teacher from laptop po or bumili po kayo separate? Dami ko pong tanong. <laughs> ano lang to, built-in camera lang to. Yung laptop ko is Lenovo um i3 core uh yeah built in camera lang to and then dito sa left side ko is meron lang akong ano ba tawag dito ring light yes ring light so yun lang <laughs> okay so teacher con buti pa yung booking may na <laughs> Mine. <laughs> All right. So again, thank you so much, teachers. So we will end at 10:15. So itong three minutes gagamitin ko to thank everyone sa support nyo. Um, tulungan tayo dito. Hindi rin ako magsasawang um, tulungan kayo or supportahan kayo. Kahit hindi ako masyadong mag-reply sa mga tanong nyo or sa mga messages nyo. Please know na marami din akong ginagawa. Um, to improve. And then, yung mga tips na, I, I mean, yung mga tip or contribution or payments na binabayad nyo sa akin, mapupunta po yun sa pag-improve ng ating, excuse me, pag-improve ng ating uh, material, training material. Um, instead of Skype, I'm planning to upgrade the training into Zoom para mas mas ano talaga high quality interaction parang ganun and then instead of Google Form I'm planning to get a website talaga na doon kayo magbubook isa-isa na ano parang convenient para sa lahat so and then also yung mga contribution niyo yung tip na binigay niyo mapupunta rin yun sa electricity bill like kagaya nito na um Nagla-live tayo, and, uh, parang ano sa kuryente, ganun, and then sa training natin. So, ganun po. Um, it will really go a long way. So, again, dun sa tip or sa contribution, any amounts po will do, big or small, that will really go a long way. So, again, thank you so much, teachers, for our Q&A. Thank you po talaga. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope and I wish you God bless and good luck sa pag-apply nyo sa Ingo, sa yung sa mga teachers na nag, mag a apply pa, and sa mga teachers din na magdi-demo na. So, I wish you um, good luck and God bless talaga. Sana matanggap kayo lahat. I'm praying for that. Okay? So, thank you so much, teachers, and have a good night. Goodbye. Thank you. By the way, teachers, do not forget to like and follow my Facebook page. And if you want, you can leave a review, positive or negative, that's okay. All right? And then don't forget also to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification para ma-notify kayo sa mga updates.
All right. So again, thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.